In this video, we will take a look at the difference between weighted and unweighted graphs. So a great example of weighted graphs is uh, the flights, right? How the flights work. So for example, let's say you want to travel from San Francisco to New York City. So what are uh, weights in this case? So weights are basically uh, costs of certain edges. So in this case, uh, weight five represents the number of hours it will take to go from San Francisco to New York City. So in this case, we are saying it takes five hours to take a direct flight from San Francisco to New York City. And it takes four hours to go from New York City to uh, Austin, Texas. And it takes three hours to go from Austin, Texas to San Diego and it takes one hour to go from San Diego to LA and so on. So weights can represent many things, but um, for this particular example, weights represent the total number of hours it takes to go from a source airport to a destination airport or from a, from a source city to a destination city. So now let's move on to unweighted graphs. Uh, one great example would be uh, Facebook. So in Facebook, if there are two friends, we can consider it as a bidirectional edge, which means if Alex is friends with Emily, Emily has to be friends with Alex. There's really no other way. So that's the reason we represent it using a bidirectional uh, uh, edge, which is nothing but uh, an undirected edge. Now, something similar here as well with the airport scenario. Uh, you can go from New York City to Austin, Texas, and again, back from Austin, Texas to New York City. So that's the reason we have an undirected edge. This is an undirected graph. That's the reason. So coming back to Facebook, uh, basically, when each friendship matters the same. So for example, uh, all the all the edges would be of size of weight one because this is an undirected graph by default all the weights will be one and there is no particular uh, reason to rank one friendship more than another so all the uh, you know friends uh, friends friendship within the friend circle have the same value of one so that's the and the reason we have bidirectional edge is because Alex is friends with Emily. Emily is friends with Alex. Emily is friends with Mike. Then Mike is also uh, friends with Emily and so on. So if we want to look at an example where we will have a directed graph instead of Facebook, we could look at Instagram. Because in Instagram, uh, if Alex is following Emily, it need not mean that Emily is following Alex again. So Alex can follow Emily, but Emily need not follow Alex. So we need to make it a directed graph. So let's say Alex is following Max and Max also follows Alex. And Max is following Mike, but Mike doesn't follow Max back. George follows Mike and Mike does not follow George back. Let's assume Mike just doesn't want to follow anybody. And Emily follows Mike, but Mike doesn't want to follow any, uh, anybody, so he doesn't follow Emily back. So this is a way we can represent Instagram, um, the way following works in Instagram using directed graphs. Uh, thank you for watching my video and hope to see you in the next video.